Hello Dreamers, in this video I'll tell you about Canadian banks for newcomers. I'll tell you about the top 5 Canadian banks and what do they have to offer. I'll answer a curious question if you can open a bank account before landing in Canada. How much time it does take to open a bank account and also which all documents are required. I'll answer each and everything in this video. Hello everybody, this is Shitan Shu from Dream Abroad. If you want to immigrate to Canada or Australia without paying hefty fee to the consultants, please visit my channel. I've got tons of videos on the immigration process of both of these countries. I do upload videos almost every day now. So if you haven't subscribed my channel yet, please subscribe it right now. Okay, so first and foremost thing, the queue is question. Can you open a bank account before landing in Canada? Yes, you can but after getting your confirmation of permanent residence. So this is in regards to the permanent residence. All those international students can also open a bank account before landing in Canada after they get the student visa. And the international workers can also open a bank account after getting the work permit. So again, in regards to the permanent residence, you have to get your COPR which has different identification numbers like application number and some other numbers as well only then you can open the bank account in Canada okay now the top banks they're actually top five banks which offer you this facility so the first bank is BMO Bank of Montreal the second bank is RBC CIBC is the third one TD and lastly Scotia Bank. So these all banks offer you this facility to open a bank account before arriving in Canada. I'll take you to all of these banks website. I'll show you what they have to offer. But before that, let's just check the documents which are required. So first of all, you would need your passport, which is your travel document. After that, your COPR, which has got all the reference numbers. I think there are two or three different types of numbers. And also your SIN number. So SIN number is something which you'll get only after you land in Canada. So you will be able to open a bank account, but it would be freezed until you reach in Canada. I mean, you can transfer some money to, the, to your bank account. But you cannot obviously, you cannot withdraw any money from, from that bank account. It would be freezed until you visit the branch and then you provide all of these documents. Then only you'll be able to get the uh, debit card, the credit card, the checkbooks and obviously you'll be able to withdraw any money and do any kind of transactions. Okay, so now let's quickly go through the websites of all of these uh, five banks and then and see what they have to offer. Okay, so this is the official website of Bank of Montreal BMO. Please note that in Canada, we do have to pay a monthly fee of around $13, $14. I mean, it depends from one bank to the other. They are the banking charges. They take money from us to take care of our money. So uh, it's not like in India that, you know, they'll give us interest and uh, I mean, to, for keeping the money in our accounts. Yes, they do give interest, but it's very, very minimal, like 1% or something like that. But we have to pay money every month. So for newcomers, all of these banks have some kind of offers. Newcomers to Canada, this is the Bank of Montreal. They offer free uh, accounts for one year, unlimited transactions, unlimited interact e-transfers and free small safety deposits. And similar is the offers with the other banks as well. Uh, you can go through their website. They offer you an no annual fee credit card. This is very important to have a credit card right from the starting so that you can build a credit history for yourself. Um, over here, they've mentioned that if you're moving to Canada, you can make one international wire transfer into your new BMO account. But obviously your account will be freezed until you submit all your documents. So this was for Bank of um, Montreal and apart from that they do have uh, mentioned over here that if you are already in Canada 
in that case you know what you have what the offer they have for you uh, you can go to their branch and obviously you can open a new bank account so it's not mandatory that you need to open your bank account before landing in Canada but yes you can also if you do open it you can also use that as proof of funds if you're being asked that from the immigration officer okay the second one is the RBC Royal uh, Bank of Canada so over here they have mentioned that you know this is the first option of moving to Canada in already uh, in Canada already you can also go to their bank and open a bank account so uh, they have a similar offer as well a no fee banking account you can use before you uh, come to Canada and obviously similar offers they offer monthly fee waived off for first nine months with no limit banking so I mean there are different kind of offers you can just go through I'll, I'm just driving you through all of these uh, bank details no annual fee on uh, the credit card so the moreover you'll find you know all of these things very similar but it's also important to mention that these offers keep changing from time to time so maybe if you're going like after two or three months you do have to check again all of these websites what is the current offer maybe in the new year they'll offer something new uh, so this is the uh, CIBC they've mentioned this uh, over here you can go over here the credit cards for newcomers so everybody you know offers credit cards as well it's very important to take credit cards I'll make a separate video on how to create your credit history as soon as you land in Canada and credit card is the most important role plays the most important role in it so over here that uh, they have given that uh, unlimited transactions and no monthly fee for one year I mean similar to the BMO um, offer and unlimited interact e-transfers free paperless record keeping and similar offers as well so similar is with CIBC moving on to TD they offer no monthly account fee for six months no TD fee to use any ATM in Canada so if you use actually you know if you withdraw money from a different from a different bank uh, ATM you're charged a good amount of money something around three or four dollars or maybe five dollars even so you have to be careful about that as well when you're in Canada they've mentioned that you may fee you may pay a fee to the ATM provider but not to TD so if you are taking if you have a TD uh, account and you have a TD debit card and you're trying to get money from a BMO ATM in that case you'll have to pay something around four to five dollars so they might be something waived off because you know they have some offer over here overdraft protection and easy web online banking obviously everybody has that TD access card, TD my spend. So this is something that they have to offer over here. You can also transfer up to 25,000 in your new TD bank account before you arrive. I think this limit is around 50,000 for Scotia Bank, but please make that TD bank account up to 75 days before you arrive. So it's not like you can open the bank account, you know, straight away and maybe you go in the month of February. You have to open the bank account only 75 days before. You have to give your uh, your date of travel when you open the bank account online. Last is the Scotia Bank. Uh, they've given you know similar benefits. The benefits are almost similar. And again, it, it's important to mention that it's not only for the permanent residents. It's also for the international students and those coming with the uh, with the work permit as well. So they also offer a Canadian credit card. Okay, now after that, going up, you know, uh, they do have similar offers. Let's see what they have mentioned over here. They have mentioned very specifically over here that to be eligible to apply for a Scotia Bank account online, you must be an individual who has approved, who has been approved to come to Canada as a permanent resident, international student, or foreign worker. You should be above 12 years of age and. Uh, be coming to Canada within 18 months from the date of application not be uh, coming to Canada on a tourist visa so tourist visa the people who are going to, on a tourist visa cannot open a bank account like this and you cannot open it on behalf of the third party you need the following information 
uh, your passport number, your date of arrival, and your landing document number. That means your COPR in case of a permanent residence. What you should expect is you can transfer up to fifty thousand Canadian dollars per customer. And that's a one-time transfer. After that, they have mentioned that you know they'll send you an emails uh, email for that, and also your account would be freezed after that. So please make a note of that. You know you can only make a one-time transfer after you open account. So you know don't think that you know if let's transfer like five thousand dollars firstly, test it if it's working or not. I know just like you know many people do. Don't try to do that. You have to. You'll get only one chance to transfer the money, and you can use that for your proof of funds at the time of immigration as well. So thank you guys for watching this video. I just hope that this information shared in this video would be helpful to you. If you like the video, please click the like button and share it with your friends if you think it would be useful for them. And also subscribe my channel if you haven't subscribed it yet.